Right, here's a video for you for the KCX23 Digger. We've pulled the pump apart. If you watch the short, you'll know that we've stripped it. So let's have a closer look at it. We'll put the light on for you. So inside here, you have two plungers, um, which I'm guessing is hydraulically operated. Um, we will take them out and have a closer inspection on that. Um, anyways, they make this move this bit here um, and then the spring goes in there and that bit there and then you got the spring then you got this which is your adjuster then you got your pump and then what this does is this alters this angle pivot here to determine on I guess how much you're you're pushing and how much you're pumping what we think in is so this has to be hydraulically operated um, so when you demand fluid, it must do something. And we're thinking it might be something to do with this here. We don't know. That I've just dropped in there. So it could go down that hole in there, maybe. Um, and I might get the compressor and just see if I can blow a bit of air through there and see if one of those plungers come out. And if that is the case, that may mean for us that one of those hoses, one of these hoses is the um, one that operates that piece. We're not sure what the little one does. Um, the little one, we think, does the slewing. But if you look in here, you can sort of work out which hose is which. Now, this one here is the one that sort of goes, which would lead to that valve there. Now, I think I took that valve out. Um, and I, I definitely took that one out, I think. And maybe that one. But I don't know. But what we could do is we can work out which hose we've got to look into and then go from there. The other theory is that it could be that smaller hose, which is this smaller hose here, which is next to that those two bigger hoses, um, which I can't quite see where it goes. Uh, trying to use the light on the phone. But yeah, it could be that smaller hose, which is this one here which goes to this one here which is also um, which is also connected to all these so I'm guessing that operates your your levers maybe So we're going to have to look through the hydraulic system. Now, if it is one of those valves, which potentially it could be that valve, that one behind there. I don't know how it could be. I'm not sure where it gets its... I don't know how that works. If it sucks oil out of there, it must literally only be for the controls. So that little pump on the back is for you operating your controls. So it has to be either that one or that one's got the issue. So maybe, I'm sure I took one of them off and looked at it. And um, I don't know what that, and maybe that does the blade, that cable there. So that's your blade. So that must be operated off your little pump off the back, I would imagine. I don't know what these two metal hoses are for. I don't know where they go, but they go somewhere important. Um, so we may have a sticky valve maybe, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I've done a short video of the engine running, and I do think there's a slight issue with the engine, but I can't see how the engine would bog down quite that much that fast. Um, I expected it to do something a little bit better with the thing, and I'm now contemplating that it might be the problem. So I'm thinking either that valve or that valve has issues, um, which... I'm pretty sure I took that valve out. I'm 
if that's the case, how do we replace it and fix it? Because I got no way of testing the pressures on these things. Hmm. So, yeah. But anyways. So it could be a hydraulic issue still, or it could be an engine issue. The engine does run, according to the short. We did stick a stick up against it, listen to all the injectors, and it sounded okay. We also done the same to the injector pump. That sounded okay. Yeah, I don't know. Has anyone had any issues with the Case CX-23 bogging down the engine due to hydraulic problems? It's not filters. I've done away with all the filters in the tank, so it's a free-flowing system. I will have ordered filters um, when, we come, when we get it running, but at the moment, there's no restriction in the filter system. Um, I can only assume it's something to do with the valve. If any of you have got any or know of any issues with it, or could even come up with an idea, um, would be great. I don't think it's the pump. Um, I think the pump's perfect.